I'll be heading back to the Manhattan Center for more Impact Wrestling tapings next month. They're doing the three tapings January 7th, 8th, and 9th for their first shows on Destination America. Uh, Brian Blade and myself will be going to the Friday night show on the 9th, front row. Looking forward to that a lot. And, And on the ticket, by the way, it confirms that Impact is staying on Wednesdays on Destination America. I haven't seen that reported or confirmed on any of the big wrestling sites, so I mention it here that it says right on my ticket, Impact Wrestling Wednesday nights on Destination America. So there's your confirmation. And now I want to mention one more TNA note here before we move on to Lucha Underground. And Dixie Carter has been making the interview rounds this week. One of the places that she talked to was The Independent. And the only thing that really caught my eye was the following quote. I'm going to read you the whole thing because I think for a company that's about to get a fresh start on a new network... And was putting out pretty good wrestling shows the latter half of the year. You know, the last few months, the the, the wrestling was fine. As a TNA fan, I think this one quote flushes any hope that I may have had right down the commode. That anything will ever truly change in this company. So long as the current leadership remains in place. And I know they're changing the graphics and the music and the logos. And they're going to put a fresh coat of paint on the whole thing. And they have to. And that's great. But... This quote did not give me any confidence at all that anything real is ever going to change in this company. She was asked about Vince Russo and working with him again. And this is what she said. She said, quote, I'm a big Vince Russo fan. I think he's very talented. I think he gets a bad rap. But I feel like the way everything played itself out when I'm negotiating a business deal and it's private, you have to keep certain things confidential, whether it's a new signing or how your creative is going. All things are critical to the right element and things were getting out concerning his involvement and it was becoming a distraction i think he's incredibly talented i really do but it's like when you have a football player on your team and that player is getting a certain amount of attention and distraction he may be a very good player but you've got to ask yourself if it's the right thing for where you're at right now and if you're trying to create a certain kind of locker room of peace we were right in the middle of very important stuff and we did not need that i'm a fan But it wasn't the time to take it to another level. Vince has worked with us three different times. And the one thing I've learned in wrestling is that you never say never. And I will never say never on Vince Russo coming back to TNA. That was straight out of the horse's mouth. The horse in this case, or the horse's ass, being Dixie Carter. And, you know, I read that. I can't say I'm surprised. I just kind of shook my head. And I said, nothing's ever going to change. Nothing's ever going to change. TNA will, it's like the hamster on the wheel. And they're going to be spinning the wheel and spinning the wheel and nothing will ever change. Because if if there's anything this company does not need, it is a return to the way things were before. Whether that's Vince Russo or Eric Bischoff or Bruce Prichard. And the fact they've gone back to this guy three times and she openly admits she would go back to him for a fourth time. It's just, it's, it's mind-boggling to me. And I love how she's talking about how, well, you know, things were getting out. And it could have a negative impact on the negotiations that we were having. Think about what this woman is saying here, okay? And it doesn't matter what the fans think of Vince Russo. The fans can, you know, can talk shit about him all they want to. I don't see how that's a distraction to a network executive sitting in their office trying to negotiate a TV deal with TNA. I mean, who gives a fuck who Joe Blow on Twitter, what he has to say about Vince Russo? What, what that tells me is, this guy has such a bad reputation... And had such a bad reputation with Spike TV. And we saw all the sniping between the two of them at the end there. That was was just ridiculous. That they went out of their way to keep his employment there a secret. And then it got out. And of course they got rid of him. Or whatever the final story was. He was no longer in TNA. It was a whole big to-do. But the fact that they even thought that we have to keep this a secret, because if this gets out that this guy is working for us, this will be a negative for us. This will be a negative for our ability to get a new TV contract. What does that tell you about Vince Russo and his involvement in TNA? That they would even have to do something like that. But does she not understand this? Apparently not. She, she's loyal to a fault. Good for her. I I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to point that out as evidence that nothing will ever change in TNA. And I hope things work out with Destination America and they can get back some of the audience that they're going to be losing because it's not a strong network and that they're, they're still around for years to come. But if I had any hope at all that things were really going to change in this company, they got flushed 
right down the toilet when I read that quote because nothing will ever change. Unless leadership at the top is gone and replaced by somebody new, nothing will ever change. And that's the story of TNA.